Hello, and another bar model question here. This one is from one of my Facebook groups, and I rather liked it, so I thought I would um, tackle it here. Right, let's read it. At first, Peter had some money. He spent one half of it on some books and a fifth of the remainder on food. I like his priorities. After that, his parents gave him $231. In the end, the amount of money he had was seven times the amount of money he had at first. And we'll ask two questions here. A, what fraction of his money did Peter spend altogether? Now, actually, I don't like the way that this bit of the question has been asked because we actually have two scenarios here. We have um, an amount of money that Peter had at the beginning and then he was given more money and it doesn't actually specify um, which amount of money that this is to be a fraction of um, and I think it ought to. I'm going to assume given it's sort of um, the A part of the question that it's from the original amount of money. We'll just assume that for the purposes of this question, but I think it should have been written better. Anyway, so that's what fraction of his money did Peter spend altogether? And also B, how much money did Peter have at first? Okay, so let's start tackling this. So he spent he had some money, he spent half of it on some books and a fifth of the remainder on food. Okay, so what that has me thinking is that I will draw a bar and if you haven't seen my videos before, I prepare you for the fact that I can't draw to save my life, okay? And even with my graphics tablet, it doesn't make it any better. Right, so half of it on books and a fifth of the remainder on food. So what I'm going to do actually is draw a bar split in two fifths and Y will become clear in a moment. So, or hopefully, so that's a bar of fifths. Now this is actually representing the remainder because we had the remainder split into fifths and then half of it was spent on books. So there's going to be another half to this bar. Okay, so this is the portion that was spent on books. I might as well use the colours. So this was spent on books. And this on food. And all of this, all of this has been spent. Okay. And this is the whole thing, I should have labelled that first, that's the original amount. Okay, so what can we, what can we see now? Actually, we can already answer this question here. What fraction of his money did Peter spend altogether? Well, this really is divided into tenths, isn't it? Okay, because if, if that was fifths, then I have, I'm have i going to divide this the same way. And how many have been spent? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six tenths of his original amount has been spent. And that, of course, equals three fifths. So that's the answer that we're going to give is three fifths. OK, so that's that's question A answered. And then what we're asked is how much money did Peter have at first? Now, we're going to need to use this information here because we've already used that part. Now, after that, his parents gave him two hundred and thirty one dollars. And in the end, so that's after this amount was added, the amount of money he had was seven times the amount of money he had at first. Now, this is the money he had at first. Now, I don't have space to draw um, this block out, a block of this size, seven times. So I'm going to sort of, I'm going to redraw this and miniaturize this block. And in fact, what I'm going to do first, let's see is I'm going to, I've given my answer in fifths, I'm going to sort of redraw this badly, but I did warn you, as fifths, okay? Oh, 
There we go. And so what I'm going to do is draw one block here. This is going to be one block, one square here, one unit is going to represent all of this. So all of this is being squeezed into this one block, which I will subdivide. So one, two, three, four and five fifths. Okay, so all of this is squeezed into here. So one of these, okay, so this is represented by one of these, okay? All right, hopefully that makes sense. Now, what I'm going to do then is show how I'm going to, we had three fifths spent. So I'm actually gonna mark those in there. These are the ones that was what was spent on books and food. Okay, now what are we told? We're told that he had now seven times the amount of money he had at first. So this is the amount of money he had at first. And he needs so seven of these all together. So we need six more. So one, two, three. There we go. So this bar is of a different scale to this one. And so that one's all tucked into there. This whole bar is tucked into there. And now we can add this 231. Where does that information go? Well, this was added to the amount he had left. This is what he had left. This is what he had spent. Okay. But he gets given 231 more dollars, lucky boy. And that then meant he had seven times the original amount. So that's how we can, that's where this label goes. Okay. So what can we figure out now? Well, we know that each of these parts is the same as this part. I just haven't bothered to divide this or maybe I should. Should I, I maybe I shouldn't be quite so lazy. Okay. Oh, I'm going to do it. One, two, so one, two, three, four and five. One, two, three, four and five. Okay. Because I don't want to assume that you're following me. So I better draw it out. I, I wouldn't bother if it was just me because I, I know. Okay. All right. So there's no doubt now, hopefully. So we've got 231 and we know that 231 corresponds to all of these equal size portions. So how many are there? Well, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33. So if I divide 231 by 33, then I will get the value of each of these. So, and that equals 7. So I know that each of these is worth or represents 7. Okay. And remember I said that each of each of these was one of these. So therefore that means that this must have a value of seven. So I now know what all of these are worth. So we've got how many of them? One, two, three, four, five. So seven times five equals 35. And that's our answer for how much money he had at first, because remember, this is the original amount. So, and that's our final answer, 35, $35. Okay. Well, thanks for listening. And I hope that helps.